These days people wanted results. They have goals and all that but they don't work towards it. Everyone has a complaint. They say I'm feeling very low, I'm feeling very sad because I'm not able to get results. Whether it's in a business, whether it's in your life, whether you want to transform yourself and get fit. The main issue here is people are not putting in the work. You can't just put a seed in here and just leave it, right? You need to work towards it. You need to put some fertile soil like this, put in some nutrients in it, give it sunlight, you need to give it water every day, do all the right things that will help the plant grow. So if you're feeling bad or low, think what are you doing wrong? Wrong. Many times your food also affects the way you think, the way you feel. The reason I'm talking about food is because we are in a transformation mode and trust me, in the last two years I was feeling a little bit low. I, there's, there's no reason. I was just feeling low. The moment I started this transformation, I don't know if it is a placebo effect or it's a, is it really working but eating healthy, clean food and working out every day. Trust me, I feel so good. I feel very positive about myself and I wanted to do more. That is the reason once again you see, you see the pattern of the videos coming up. Slowly I'm trying to push more videos. So first, uh, if you're feeling sad and low or something like that try this out change your diet because there is enough evidence enough science behind it that whatever you eat will be the direct reason to how you feel so now we have something extremely important to do my dad called me yesterday morning and he's like you know when did we buy our deal i think we got it around 2007 or 8 and dad called me yesterday he was like time to change the scooter because it started giving me trouble and all parts are disintegrated so obviously auto enthusiast who is here recommendations he'll ask me only so i said uh, let me do some research but I'm planning to check out electric this time for him. He will be using it not more than 2 or 3 kilometers per day so I think an electric makes real good sense and it will also be something new for him so if you guys have any recommendations do let me know. So Iman Kotaro already started his research. Are you serious? Yeah, look at the number of two-wheeler brands right now. Let's see. My friend Chetanya personally uses the Ola electric scooter. I think his is the S1 Pro, the first generation one. And he was telling me there was one more new version, which is called the Ola S1X, which is right in front of me. I'm actually comparing these. This one is the S1 Air, this one the S1 Pro. And this is what I'm looking at because of the cost as well. 89 triple nine. That's a pretty good price here. Yeah? Let's do one thing. Let's not waste time. Let's go and test ride one of these. See, one major setback for me to buy an electric vehicle is it is at least 30 to 40 percent sometimes even 50 percent more than a typical petrol engine but looking at this particular ola ka offer which is 89 triple nine almost actually a little bit cheaper than the typical petrol scooter i thought maybe we can consider this we'll talk about all this later first i want to test ride it feel it if it is a good one then definitely i'll recommend my dad to get it so let's go i need to find out showrooms here yaar, ola ka. So automatic lock I put together? Automatic lock. Echo say less. Okay, this is the passcode. Okay, we are test riding the Ola S1 X Plus. Okay, right now it is in the normal mode. See, the first thing I really like about the, the Ola is that, you know, a lot of uh, EVs are there, but all of them, they don't look like a scooter, you know, they look like, I don't know, maybe a electric cycle <laughs> because they're so lean and thin. They actually don't give me that feel of a proper scooter, you know. And look at Hyderabad, bro. Amazing. This road is too good. Okay, right now I'm in the normal mode. So yeah, see, even if I'm full throttling, I'm doing like 53, 54 kilometers per hour, which is pretty decent. I mean, how much speed else will you do in a city like Hyderabad in traffic uh, just to come here from point A to point B? But wait, it's got the renowned sport mode and all that stuff. So, okay, from standstill almost, yeah, it moves like effortlessly, even in normal mode, right? I like the mirrors as well. Pretty wide and quite comfortable to look at the entire world. <laughs> Ride comfort is pretty good. You sit upright. Suspension is quite good. Yeah, it's not like very sturdy. I think it's perfect for the city. Those rumblers were taken very easily. Maneuverability feels good. Holds the road pretty well, but it's so weird. Yeah, I mean. I'm pretty sure my dad will have an issue riding this because he's always used to petrol engines and that obviously that uh, engine sound is not there so he'll definitely miss that maybe I'm not sure <laughs> it's not like a petrol head okay there is cruise control in this okay 
Very nice here. The, the way an EV pulls is so amazing. <laughs> Effortlessly. There's no lag. There's nothing like instant power. And what I've seen is it just doesn't have a belt or a chain. It drives directly through the motor. The motor is directly mounted to the rear wheel. There'll be no power loss absolutely. Direct. You see those big rumblers there? It handled it pretty well. It's not at all soft suspension because if you have like really soft suspension, it will be wobbly wobbly and you'll not have that ride feel, you know. If you want to feel your ride and if you want to stay connected to the road, I think suspension should be slightly on the sturdy side. Yeah, maneuverability, road grip and all is pretty good, yaar. <laughs> it's such a fun bike to ride. Here I think the most important thing is that the indicators are a little bit confusing because I'm used to the knobs, you know. <laughs> this one has buttons. It's a straight, very comfortable seating. The best part is the seat, I think, in this. Of course, the looks are also good. I mean, personally, I like it. Okay, talking about brakes. Let's check out the brakes, actually. I think they are, I don't know, are these like disc brakes? I think these are drum brakes. Pretty good. Efficiently braking. No issues with that at all. The range is claimed 150 plus kilometers which is pretty decent uh, on a full charge right now we have 52 percent range so normal mode if i do full throttle from standstill let's see this is full throttle definitely better than a petrol engine pulls all the way to 55 60 within like i think five seconds or six seconds but the beauty is in the sports mode you know can we do it in running this is the mode button yeah we can do that and there is sports and normal, okay, sport, okay, <laughs> dude, that's instant. <laughs> okay, now it's talking. <laughs> Careful, bro. <laughs> I don't want to check out the top speed and all that in the city, but it's claiming around 90 kilometers per hour. That's a crazy good speed. So let's uh, do it from a standstill. Launch control, okay, <laughs> three, two, one, full throttle. Okay, th there is good torque and it's already... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they claim a 0 to 60, 0 to 40 kilometers per hour in 3.3 seconds. That's faster than my BMW X4 30D engine. <laughs> and even in running, it catches speed quite easily. Man, I, I am so tempted to use this always in the sports mode. I don't think I'll be using this in a normal mode. Of course, my dad will be using it in normal mode, but I'm not sure. My dad is crazier than me, actually. <laughs> See, like these slow turns and then pull it. Okay. <laughs> Man, oh man, I now I understand why electric vehicle people ride like that in the city. I think I'll ask my dad to consider this for sure. And right now, because there are offers on it, I think you're getting it for 89999. That offer is only for December, okay? Only this month, it seems. I'll also ask him to test ride once. For that price, I think it is definitely a steal. Okay, when I go on those rumblers, everything is contained pretty well. All the plastics, everything is fine. I'll not say they're like super premium level, but at that price, I think everything is built pretty well nice yeah road grip is pretty good actually you feel confident riding this see that when you want to make turns like quick turns it can handle it pretty well i like the side stand design where it's properly integrated into the bike it goes like that inside the rear footrests are also nicely integrated into the design smooth finish like that i like these bits over here which is covering the swing arm and stuff you see this is the best part about the the seat is very comfortable nice and wide and nicely contoured like this so that your legs fit in properly like that nice cushion i think uh, from the experience that i had till now i think i can ride this continuously for maybe one one and a half hour easily you have nice led indicators you have cruise control button over here you see this that's a pretty good touch then these are the lights so one touch you get a one light two touch you get a beam and off this is where you charge the s1x is the charging port you see this place here such a nice place i mean obviously you shouldn't keep your phone here <laughs> because in case of a bump and all that it might fall off but a nice storage location on the left and on the right you have a hook as well to hang some grocery stuff that's the kiki con <laughs> so you have some bluetooth controls as well you see these buttons over here so both the front and rear you get the drum brakes one more thing i forgot to show you is the trunk it is huge <laughs> look at that size <laughs> there is a lot of storage and you also get an indication you see that trunk closed side stand indicator be here so in order to reverse you'll have to hit the brake put it in reverse instead of accelerating you decelerate it and it moves in reverse not even big bikes have here i really need that in big bikes 
you can also control your music you can take calls you can cut calls all those are like mandatory features these days really have to give it to ola yaar uh, packing so many features and so much of power and all that stuff in pretty economical scooter i have really good confidence riding this even if i want to push it a little bit i know it's going to break i know it's going to turn it's going to hold the road all that confidence is there okay how does it ride in these kinds of conditions where there is like inclination put it in normal mode oh it pulls here with 85 kilos this is normal mode this is not in sports mode previously there was this issue actually uh, it's not bad actually not bad that is the charger and these days uh, infrastructure is also increasing for electric charging This one express comes in seven colors: red, midnight, funk, stellar, vogue, the white, and the liquid silver. I think personally, I like the one that I'm riding right now. It's got a large connected display. Comes with a mobile app connectivity. It's got Ola Maps. You can get to know the scooter's live location, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It's got music controls. You can accept calls, reject calls. It also has a digital key lock, proximity unlock. You also get over-the-air updates. Has a motor power of six kilowatts. It gets a three kilowatt hour battery. Here you see all the three models. The first one is the S1X. Then the S1 Air and the S1 Pro, which comes with disc brakes. The Air and Pro they come with a large color display and speakers. The Pro can do a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour and a 0 to 40 in 2.6 seconds. Takes you around 195 kilometers on a full charge. While the Air has a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour and a range of 151 kilometers. Okay, one thing is for sure. I have decided to go with an electric this time. I'm still kind of researching done one test ride and I definitely like the S1X Plus especially considering the fact that I'm able to get an EV for the cost of a petrol scooter. And if you do the calculation specifically for the S1X because we're getting a 20,000 discount in this month at 8999 considering if you commute for 30 km per day if I have to buy the bike on an EMI maintenance and running costs and all that around 25 to 26,000 rupees I'm able to save per year in comparison to a petrol scooter. I think before finalizing I'll do a little bit of more research and also main thing last minute had to go and test ride the Ola S1 Express most probably in the next one week before christmas we're planning to buy one comment down and let me know considering the price i want it under 90 under 1 lakh at least getting an ev for under that price is definitely going to be a task do let me know see you guys in the next one take care